Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Luna over here. I'm a real estate agent here in Philadelphia. So in today's video, I have a very exciting topic, the pros and cons of being a real estate agent. So in this video, I will give you four pros and four cons. The first pros that I think about being a real estate agent is you can make as much money as you wish. So as the harder and the more amount of effort that you're putting in with every single deal and the more transaction that you can close, you can literally make like tens of thousands of dollars a month. Uh, for example, my coworkers, they are three years, four years within the business. I know um, my coworker made, she sold 15 million last year. So she also does investment on the side. She makes about like well off 200,000 per year. The second pro that I have for being a real estate agent is you can make your own schedule. So um, you can decide when you wanna work, when you don't wanna work, when you wanna take a vacation, and when you wanna work at home. It's really up to you. The third pro that I have about being a real estate agent is every single day that you're experiencing is very different. So you're gonna meet with different people and you might have a listing appointment today in a, like a certain neighborhoods. So you're gonna meet with homeowners, you might be you know, in the suburb showing houses in the, the next day, or you might be doing open houses on a Sunday. So your day can vary and um, and then you can, it's not like you're sitting on a cubicle from nine to five, everything is so routine and you're set to do certain things in a certain hour. And being a real estate agent is not like that. So I really love, love about that with you know having my own schedule. Because of that, I can set a time, like an hour or two hours of the, my day to go to gym. I can go on a date with my husband. And last but not least, I think being as a real estate agent is a great, it's a very resourceful um, job. When you, at, when you are a real estate agent, you're dealing with a lot of professionals like lenders, you're dealing with a tax person, lawyers, and contractors, and you know, you name it. So you know a lot of people that has business or the people that can provide you with value. So for example, after three years being as a real estate agent, you decide to become a investor. So as a real estate agent, because of the experiences and you know all the information that you already have and, and contracts that you already have, it will become very handy if you need a project to be done. You already have all the people lined up, people that you trust that you worked in the past to help you with that project. So with that being said, these four things are as a good thing of being a real estate agent. So now let's get to the cons of being a real estate agent. The first thing I will definitely say is the exposure. So I'm really putting myself out there, like my cell phone number is out there, my image is out there, if my sign is out there, everybody who walks by can see who I am, what I do, and my contact information. And sometimes it gets a little bit of uh, annoying because you get a lot of sales calls, people wanna sell you real estate leads, real estate marketing companies, and then sometimes you just have random people just call you, they want to you know they just want to call you and say what's up and you don't even know who that is you don't even know if that's a potential your potential client so if it's possible I always pick every single of my phone call because I treat it like it's a potential lead kind of annoying sometimes and I just think that's the bad side about being real estate of the exposure that you're really putting yourself out there and as far as the exposure goes, also that comes in with liability. So being as a real estate professional, you can really get sued. So everything that you do it, it, it related to the contract, right? So if you are missed one step or you miss something on the contract, then your client could lose thousands of dollars and that will eventually lead back to you. You can get your license revoked, you can lose your job, your client can fire you. So these are really the downside about real estate agent and secondly that I think being the downside of a real estate agent professional is definitely you're going to experiencing some bad times like you will be broke when you first started you don't make any income within the first six months you have to have a safety net you have to save money and then just putting savings every time you get a check automatically I will put in the saving for at least 30 percent of that check just to sit there just to prevent me in case down the road I don't produce any money in the next two months, then I like I have some money saved in the bank. So 
The other thing about being broke is you are attracted to a lot of agencies and advertising. Sometimes with a listing, there are so many things that you can do to advertise it, like Facebook ads, photography, videos, and signs and flyers, and all these can be a lot of money that you put in but the only way for you to get paid is to get your listing sold so if you don't get that listing sold with all the amount of effort and work that you put into it it's not guaranteed that you can get paid so therefore it's gonna cost you a lot of money and you might be broke so the third thing that I want to talk about is the time management so if you are really bad at managing your time it will actually end up like you're putting more time into work you will end up working long hours no sleep and then you will lose also a lot of valuable times with your family as well last but not least i think the best side about being a real estate agent is safety so i don't know if have if it has happened in your local market but i remember last year i heard in the news there is this agent in new jersey and he got shot because he was picking up his sign and somehow you know there's a shooting happening and he happened to be a real estate agent so i just want you guys to always keep that in at the back of your head a mind that being a real estate agent it can be sometimes dangerous as you know young women as all my women subscribers out there always carry like a pepper spray or let people know that where you're going to be who you are going to meet so be be very cautious about meeting strangers meeting buyers or sellers um yeah so that will be the last thing that i can come up with you know with the safety issue and the last con so here are the four pros and cons about being a real estate agent i know there's so much more that I can cover, but I don't want this video to be too long and draining. So thank you so much guys for watching and stay until the end. Please hit the subscribe button and also like this video. I share content like this every single week, three times a week. So be sure you subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching. This is Luna over here. I hope you have a nice weekend. Have a nice day. Bye-bye.